Belden waliaula ketia news Arau of uh, 300 million shillings belonging to Mpesa account holders allegedly being held by Vodafone has now landed in a local court. Gishuki Waigwa, Lucy Nzola and Godfrey Okutoi have moved to court questioning the operation of uh, Safaricom and Vodafone. They argue that mobile money services amount to a banking service that is not regulated by the law. Now the three petitioners want Safaricom to pay interest on the M account holders from investments and profits accrued from money held in the banks. In the case filed before the anti-corruption court, Gishuki Waiwa, Lucy Nzola and Godfrey Okutoi are questioning the regulation of M-Pesa. Through their lawyer, Wilfred Nderito, they claim M-Pesa services as provided by Safaricom PLC and the Vodafone Group PLC amounts to banking business in contravention of Section 2.1 of the Banking Act. They argue that Central Bank of Kenya was aware from the start that M-Pesa deposits ought to be held in trust as Safaricom was not a licensed deposit-taking institution and CBK should have ensured that Safaricom did not operate as a bank or should have controlled M-Pesa transactions. They are also questioning Fuliza, claiming that the money borrowed emanates from other account holders who have not withdrawn the money and the banking service is not regulated by law. The three petitioners who have sued among other firms, Safaricom PLC, the Vodafone Group PLC, M-Pesa Holding Company Limited, and Safaricom Foundation Charitable Trust want the court to find that M-Pesa is meant to be a banking business regulated by the CBK. They want the court to compel Vodafone to refund 300 billion shillings they claim the firm admitted to allegedly be holding from M-Pesa account holders. The petitioners are also eyeing NCBA and KCB. They claim Safaricom and M-Pesa have maintained accounts with the banks for more than 15 years and ought to pay interest to more than 32 million M-Pesa account holders from investments and profits accrued from the money in the banks. The three petitioners want the court to recommend to Chief Justice Martha Koome to appoint a bench of more than five judges to hear the case.